Hello, Magnus here, and for this quick update, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite features of these cameras that I own, specifically the 5D Mark IV, and it's the ability to connect to your smartphone, tablet, or PC to actually do recording. Now that's what I'm using now off of my Canon 5D Mark IV that I'm recording, but I also used it for, with my NX1 in the past, and even my Canon 6D, which also included that feature. Now let me talk about each of those cameras and exactly how it worked and which one was actually better when I did it. First, let's go to the Canon 6D. Now the Canon 6D, in order to connect to your phone, you needed to first download the Canon app off of the Play Store or on your iPhone using um, App Store. So once you download, you connect via Wi-Fi, but first you've got to set up your camera in order to broadcast that Wi-Fi. In order to do that, you've got to go into the camera settings and play with it a little bit before you actually can get it to connect. Now, once you do that and connect your camera to your phone, then you've got a couple of features and a couple of limitations. Now, the great thing about the Canon 6D is that it allows you to take pictures remotely, stand at a distance, and then you know, see yourself in the shot and of course take that picture, hit that shutter button. Well, it's got one greatly lacking feature, which was a problem for me. And that basically is the fact that you cannot record video while using Wi-Fi. Sure, you can take plenty of pictures. You can actually download the pictures straight to your smartphone once using it, but you can't record video. And to me, that's a struggle. So pretty much it's great for taking those quick little selfie shots if you need them, but it's useless in any other extreme. Moving on. Next camera that I experimented with that is the Samsung NX1. Samsung NX1 allowed you to connect with the phone for photos and for video, which was great. So connecting it is pretty simple. It has near field communication, NFC, and also Wi-Fi if you so choose. So basically all you really got to do is put your phone near the computer, start the Samsung camera app, and it'll connect automatically without you having to go into your Wi-Fi settings in your phone and make that connection. For me, all I really cared about was the video. So when using the video, I found it surprisingly worked well when it came to streaming the video to the phone. Any movements that I would make with a camera or any movements that I'd make in front of the camera, the phone was able to stream it with a high quality, pretty much able to see myself almost as if I'm using an LCD that's connected HDMI. Not quite as good, but good enough. Touch to focus was great. You can, you can see that you can autofocus with the actual camera during video, but you can also press the, the phone to actually autofocus on an object. Now the downside that I found while testing it is that when you touch to focus, it'll stay on that selection on your phone. So if you move the camera, it's not going to pick up the item that you focused on, but it's just going to stay in that section of the screen which is a bit frustrating. You'd have to constantly touch it to make sure that you're still focused on the item that you need, but it's better than not having autofocus at all. So it actually is a really good plus and it's really useful when it comes to recording yourself when necessary. Now moving on to the Canon 5D Mark IV. Canon 5D Mark IV introduced the ability to record video and use that app at the same time, which was great. So once I'm using it, it was a little bit annoying to have to connect to Wi-Fi once again, you know, switch, turn on your Wi-Fi on the phone, connect to the Wi-Fi being broadcast from the camera once you set that up. But once you're connected, it's a pretty good application. You go in, you've got all your camera settings right off the phone. You can see yourself, you can frame yourself. Streaming was not as fast as the NX1, but it was acceptable for what I would need, especially for a shoot like this. But anything faster, let's say you're, you have a camera at a distance and you, and you want to pretty much track what you're recording for whatever reason, if you have it mounted to a jib that's pretty high and you want to just start using it that way, I wouldn't recommend it because you will not be able to stream the action fast enough using this camera. But at least for, for something simple, I would definitely recommend using it. When using the touch to focus, this did an excellent job of tracking the items that you focused, unlike the NX1. You can actually touch, it'll focus, and it'll stay on that object no matter how much you move the camera or if the object itself moves close and away from you. 
all in all, I'd say it's a really nice feature to have, not just in the Canon 5D Mark IV, but in any camera. Having the ability to do that, to me, almost completely negates the need for a flip-out screen, because when are you going to use a flip-out screen? When you're doing something like I'm doing right now, shooting myself. But it's easier for me to switch the settings, see that I'm in focus, by just pulling my phone and saying, here I am. Here's what I need. Am I in focus? Sure I am. Do I know I'm, in, I'm centered? Sure. You know, I've got myself where I want to just because I'm tracking myself on the phone. Now, if I was using the camera and I had a flip out screen, I'd have to get out my glasses or binoculars just to be able to see it. Autofocus makes it convenient, but then again, you know, having to walk back and forth if I do need to switch one of the settings is inconvenient as opposed to being able to switch the settings right off my smartphone. So that's my personal opinion, and that's what I think, but let me know what you think about this specific feature on cameras. What would you think is an improvement? What would you think pretty much lacks? Or why wouldn't you use these features? Let me know in the comments below, and hit a like, subscribe. It'll do me great honor to read all of your comments because of course, like I always say, I enjoy that stuff. You can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. See you guys later.